Hello everyone. Base Fusion has changed quite a bit in the months that I've been using it, and that includes even the installation process. I'm going to go through the entire installation procedure once again on my computer, and I've completely deleted my current version just to make this video more accurate. I did, however, not delete certain dependencies that are required, but I'll still show the process of what to do and what needs to be installed. Before we get started, if using a command line isn't your thing, and you just don't think you can do it, go check out my other new video for installing Pinocchio and Face Fusion in Pinocchio. Pinocchio is basically Steam for AI applications. It makes the process super simple. The first thing you need to do is open up the Face Fusion installation guide to more easily follow along, and it makes it easier to copy and paste the links and code each time. Now, depending on which operating system you are on, some procedures and requirements will be a bit different, but the entire install process is in these documents and you just need to change the link and or code to match the operating system you are on if you are not on a Mac like myself. I will put the corresponding commands for the other operating systems on the screen too. If you do not know what operating system you are on, please stop watching this now and go back to playing Fortnite or Animal Crossing or back to watching Survivor and CIS Big Bang Theory or whatever other terrible television show you watch. In the docs, you can see that they have options for Linux, macOS, and Windows. Choose the one you are on. The next thing you need to do is open up Terminal or whatever application you are using for your command line interface. From the very start, there's one more thing that you may need to do first if you are on a Mac that is not in this guide. Homebrew is required to run these commands in Terminal, and if you don't have that, you will need to install that first. I do, however, also have a video for installing Homebrew that I made a while ago. You can find that at the link in the description below. Assuming you now have Homebrew installed, or you're ready on your respective operating system, let's continue. The first command will be to install Python version 3.10 onto your system. With each of the commands, you can easily copy the command by mousing over the line and hitting the copy button to the right of it. Then all you need to do is copy that command into your terminal and hit enter. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to go through the entire process for me, as I already had it, but it apparently wanted me to be able to show everyone what it looks like. I noticed that it also updated some of my homebrew applications I had previously installed, so that was weird. With Python installed, using Python, we will now install pip, or ensure it. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. Yeah, that's more of what I was expecting with Python, but whatever. You may, if you already had it, get a message saying that you don't have the newest pip. Feel free to do the upgrade command that it recommends to you at this point. It goes very quickly. Next, we're on to installing git. After that, there appears to be one difference, and that's for Linux users only. So Mac and Windows, sit this one out. Linux users, you need to install curl. Just copy-paste and hit enter for that command. I have no idea what it does from my Mac perspective, though. And back to everyone. Time for Conda to be installed. Copy, paste, enter. Linux users, you have two lines, so make sure you do both of those. The last part of the preparation is to install FFmpeg onto your system. At least if you're on Mac or Linux. Windows users, you'll still have a few more steps after. I went ahead and did the reinstall just so you could see what it would look like. So after that's done, Mac and Linux people, stay put for a second while I put up the remaining steps for Windows users. First, you have another codec to install and then a tool set. Go ahead and run both of those. And on to stage two. We will now clone the FaceFusion repository, which basically means that it's downloading the needed source files to your system and creating the directory for FaceFusion on your computer. And then we will move into the directory with the command cd FaceFusion. Stage two was simple, now to stage three. 
where we will set up the Conda environment that is used to run FaceFusion in. The good news here is that Mac, Linux, and Windows all have the exact same commands currently for this stage. First with the installation, which is two separate commands. Here's number one. As I already had it set up, it basically did nothing, but it should look a bit different to you. The same will probably happen with the next part. And here's number two. Cool. I was able to redo that part so you can see it. Now with the environment setup, you have to actually activate it with this next command. And that's it for stage three. Stage four is only for Linux and Windows users. And that's only if you have an NVIDIA GPU that can run CUDA. If you don't know what you have, I can't really help you out there. But I'm sure that someone on the Discord channel might be able to. Link in the description below. Both Linux and Windows users input this command. Now Windows users only will have this one additional command to run. Hopefully everything went well for you CUDA users. And welcome back Mac users. Time for stage five, installing the dependencies. This is where some of the necessary models and other whatnot will be installed. Just type the following command and wait for the download and installation process. Some models can be large and take longer to install, just be patient. Choose default unless there is an option like CUDA for you NVIDIA users, or if you have an AMD GPU, DirectML may be an option for Windows users and ROCM for Linux users. I guess there's even an option for Intel where you choose OpenVINO. You're probably not in a good place if that's your only option though. Now that supposedly everything is installed, stage six says done. There will still be some more to install, but it will happen automatically when you run the application. So simply type in the command and wait for a few more downloads. Once the downloads have been completed, you should see the last line that reads running on local URL with the following URL. Open up your favorite browser that is hopefully brave and not Chrome and open that URL. You should now see the face fusion interface and be able to swap faces as much as you desire. Let's make sure that this worked completely. I'll do a super quick face swap. Well, quick from your point of view. If you follow the directions explicitly, Everything should be running great for you. If it is not, there most likely isn't anything I can do, and it's probably something wrong with your system, be that hardware or software. At that point, I would recommend checking out the Face Fusion Discord, link below, and asking for help there. Or you can take the easy route and give up. Just kidding. Well, kind of. Instead, try it on Pinocchio, which I mentioned at the start of this video. It's like the Steam for AI applications. I just made a new video for Pinocchio's installation and installing Face Fusion on it too. So go check that one out. And while you're at it, check out all of my many other Face Fusion videos along with videos about other AI applications. Do it! Just do it! One last thing next time you want to start up Face Fusion, you need to do a couple of the commands again to open it back up. First, change the directory again. Second, start the conda environment again, and then you can start it up with the run command. And you're good to go once again. Or you can just put it all together as one command like this. If you haven't already stopped watching this video because you decided to have fun with Face Fusion instead of watching the rest, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.